On the table here, I've got a stock Intel cooler, which is currently cooling an i5-6400. Using a Phillips head screwdriver just to twist all the lugs 90 degrees, and from there I'm able to lift it up and out like this. You have a disconnected connector, and as you see, some very dry thermal paste. So this would be about four years old, this thermal paste well overdue for a clean. I've also got a piece of tissue paper here with some isopropyl alcohol on there and just give that a bit of a clean up. Just missed a little bit of thermal paste there so I had to lift that out. But overall looking nice and clean. And I'll do the same to the stock cooler as well. Now with that looking nice and clean, I'll put some deep cool Z5 thermal paste on there, which I am right at the very end of the syringe. So the quality of this paste isn't exactly great at the moment, but there should be enough applied that it will function perfectly fine. You can certainly tell I'll be triggering some people right now. Look at that quality thermal paste, nicely evenly spread. <laughs> and to keep this happy, I'll just give it a bit of a spread out with a plastic razor blade. So it's not a great spread, but with a bit more pressure on it, it should spread out a bit more evenly. And as I said, perf should be perfectly functional. Now I'm pushing the lugs straight down first to click them into place, or straight down to protrude through the board. And now I'm using just a flathead screwdriver to lock them into position. So far, so good. And there's no movement. Just checking them all to make sure they are clicked into place. Overall, that's some new thermal paste. Done. Bye.